my stamping friends, I'm Sandra at rtpapercrafters.com, an independent stamping up demonstrator. And today my project for you is one of these gorgeous little ornaments. Now these little ornaments are made with a stamp set called Christmas Gleaming. You can purchase this as a bundle. I don't think my lights are awfully good, are they? Sorry about that, but it's a really rainy day. Um, and it comes as a bundle with two punches, so you get this punch and this punch and they punch out these baubles here so it's easy for you to create quick designs which is much easier than framelits. I love my framelits but it is much much easier to punch. I think we'll all agree with that. So it's a very good value bundle for money. You save 10% if you buy the two punches with the stamp set. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these products that I am demonstrating today, please click on the down arrow description bar which will take you to my online stamping up shop or where you can subscribe to my blog, I'd be delighted, uh, so that you don't miss any of my upcoming posts. Um, because I do have cards on my blog as well as my videos. So let's get started on making one of these beautiful bauble decorations. I think you'll agree I have used, oh my lighting it's dreadful, it's driving me mad. I've used real red to punch these out with so saffron and so saffron ink on this one. I've, I've coloured stamped and coloured in mossy meadow my holly leaves and I've coloured them with poppy parade and mossy meadow stamping blends. I've used some of the beautiful ribbon which is called very vanilla copper and it's three eighths of an inch wide I think, three eighths of an inch wide you get 10 yards 9.1 centimeters, oh it's half an inch and it has Merry Christmas stamped all the way through it, beautiful beautiful ribbon. So without further ado let's see how we make one of these glorious baubles. So to start with we need um, a circle which measures this measures two by two inches and on our circle we need some glue. Um, we stamp, let's just start off with stamping Sandra, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Now you can see that on here I have got a very small sheet of paper here which measures 11, it's a piece of A4 which measures 11 and 3 quarters by 2 and 5 eighths and you can see that on it I've got the smaller bauble 2, 4, 6, 7, 9, 11, 13 I've got 14 of those out of one small sheet of A4 paper so you can make them very economically just measure your paper first and then you'll do that so to stamp the baubles and I'll show you the baubles they are gorgeous It's not quite big enough. So get a piece of card and today I'm going to show you, uh, I'm using the old olive, that's right, old olive, because I'm going to do mine today red and green because I think it'll look beautiful. So let's stamp three of those. So if you put them fairly close together you will get three out. You can see that you could get about seven or eight on that piece. Now to stamp your other longer baubles, let's turn that round that way and stamp. Obviously the bigger baubles take up more room. So you've got that one and then got this pattern as well. Beautiful. You can gold emboss them, heat emboss them, whatever you like, but that is your baubles 
so beautiful and they punch out extremely easily so this is the bigger one and that punches straight out like that so that's the bigger one you can see that punches out beautifully and then there's the smaller one like that. So that is how you punch your baubles out. Now the best thing to do is to score them down the middle when you're making these baubles because you will then get a, a very good crease. You, you'll achieve a crease that goes down the center so that when you're putting this gluing them together it'll make it easier. So just line it up at the top of your scoreboard into the middle of the top part of that bauble and follow your line down to the point of your bauble and just score. And you're just going to, you can line it up anywhere on your scoreboard just so long as you centre that top part with your bottom part and it's easy and you can just, it only takes couple of minutes to score all of your pieces and then you'll make a beautiful bauble. So that's that part done. Obviously I have already stamped my holly leaves in mossy meadow ink and then I've actually coloured them today with my granny apple green but not the whole part. I've left some of it free. I think that looks attractive, really attractive. Right, let's crack on with making this bauble. So, two inch piece cut out of very vanilla here. And then we're going to put glue around the whole of the outside part. And what we're going to do, we're going to, I'm going to do six. So we start off where we're going to put the red ones where we're just putting the tips of them into the glue. So I've already gone ahead and I've got my six punched out. So I think I've probably got more than six, but, and what I've done is I've gone opposite on these two. And line them up with the neck. and press that middle part down into the glue. You can spring it back up later. And then you need to just gauge what is an equal distance between the two and press them down into the glue as well. And so we're doing that until we've done all six. And if you need to move them and you've used wet glue, you'll be able to, should be able to move them around. Maybe that one needs moving that way. Now you can make these six, you can do one with five. Um, and I think the one here was done with two, four, six, eight. That turned out to be a little full. Um, I used the, the uh, brightly gleaming designer paper to make this one, but I felt that that was a little bit full. Beautiful still, well finished off at the back even, but perhaps a little too full. So while we let that dry, I've gone ahead and made some of these because obviously we needed six. 
so I have scored all of them and the ones that we've just punched which are here what I've gone ahead and done I have used I can find it I've used my blender pen and what I've done I've just let me pull you down a bit I've just got my blender pen and run it round the bauble on the outside edge so that it pulls some of that ink away from the stamping and it just puts a bit more colour into the rest of the bauble and I think that looks good. It don't, you don't need much, just a little. Right then, so now to put our baubles together you obviously have to fold them in half. So the best way to do that is where you've scored your lines, fold them in half and really crease them with a bone folder. And do that on all of them. When you come to doing this top small part, just make sure that that lines up at the top. And it can, you think it's going to be tricky, it's really not tricky. I didn't find that it was tricky, it just seemed to fall into place. Mainly because you've already scored it. So make sure that you've got your creases good and done. and then we're going to glue. You, you need three to glue together to make the shape of the bauble that we want for our decoration. Like that. And with our wet glue you just take one, fold it in half, put your glue right up onto the top as well Come on. Put your glue right up onto the top part because you do want that to be stuck. And then when you're putting your other one over the top, make sure that it lines up with the tops as well as the middle part of the bauble. And then to glue your next one, line it up again. With the bauble itself and press and then open it up and you will have a beautiful bauble. Now if you was to make six like this, so you've got your three, let's say you've got your six and you put that together like that, you could make a little hanging direct a hanging decoration that you could put off of say like a little twig branch tree something like that would look beautiful put some string in it or some twine um, would look really good hanging from a little um, one of them twiggy things you know what I mean don't you right then so this is the last one that we need to glue together and then we will put this together on our in case with the others. Do you know that's a very dark day today? It hasn't stopped raining all day. Right, so that is our little baubles made. So we've got six of those. So we've got our wet glue which is probably dried a bit now so we're going to stick a bit more in the middle there. And now we're going to put our others in between. So lift up your, your other part of your baubles and pop that in the middle there and you'll find the point of it because it will sit nicely in between and just stick that down. And just go round until you've completed all six.
last one. Like that. should be stuck. Lift up your baubles. I mean it will take a few minutes for these green ones to stick but just lift them up. And so now we've got the start of our bauble which is like that and now in the middle part I've got this gold And this is one and a half inches. Yes, this is a one and a half inch and this is cut with gold foiled paper. And that's going to sit in the middle there. And it's going to go on dimensionals. And it needs to go on a double amount of a dimensional so that it really sits above. So put your dimensionals in the middle bit. Take off the backings first. Place another backing over the top. Like that. And then I'm just going to try that in there before I pull the backings off to make sure that's where I want it. And I think it is. So take those off and stick those into the centre, like that, perfect. Now to finish the back I forgot to cut another circle, but you can use any size circle to finish off your, your back part. And I'm not going to stick that on because I don't like the colour, it doesn't match. So that's not going on there. Um, I probably need a big punch. Let me just quickly get some paper. Getting a two and a half inch punch. This is my two and a half inch punch here, which I think will fit on there okay. Yes, and then you could decorate it with a piece of gold if you wanted to. So that sits over the back there and makes that look a bit neater. And then later on, I can put a piece of um, gold foiled paper to just finish that off. Now to finish the top part I have used my one eighth of an inch punch and you can decide it doesn't matter which is the top part spread your two the, your, your baubles down so that they're flat and then come down by about I come down by about half an inch because I don't want the ribbon splitting through. So you can see I've come down by about half an inch there. And then I'm using this beautiful copper ribbon um, on mine. And so I'm going to thread that through. until I've got enough of a length and then I'm going to tie that off And then I'm going to get my scissors and 
I'm going to trim it. So that's that. So now we need to finish off our decoration, which is my holly leaves with a ribbon bow. So let's see if we can make a ribbon bow with my ribbon maker. If you want to know where I got this ribbon bow maker from, I got it from the range and it was very, very inexpensive. So that sits in there. I'm going to just trim that up. And the ribbon bow goes in there. So I've got my holly leaves and they are going to sit in there. And I'm going to get um, a bit of glue because I'm going to stick them together on one of the berries so like that so I've covered up just one berry and then they're going to go on here now on this one I did use some um, glitter so um, I used my glossy accents and some glitter on there, which we could do today, I expect. So I need to find my glitter. Here's my ice stamping glitter and my glossy accents. So let's get a piece of scrap paper. And I've just run the glossy accents along the centres of the holly leaves. Whoops. And then my ice stamping glitter goes over the top. And perhaps press it in a bit sure that it sticks. Lift it off and look at the sparkle. Can you see the sparkle on that? Isn't that pretty? Yummy. Right, let's get our stamping glitter away. So now I'm going to stick my bow. Now I have put some little, um, I've put some little baubles on this one, and I've done that. I've used the old olive linen thread from Stamping Up, and I've just um, straightened it with my bone folder a bit, and then I've just strung them together, the three of them, like that, and then I've tied them into a little knot to put them together sort of not too tight and done a double knot to make sure that they sort of stay together and then with your scissors cut off a length and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some glue dots going to stick some glue dots 
Knochen her. And then I'm going to get my cord. So make sure you got your top with your ribbon. So that's the top, this is going to be the bottom. So obviously we want our baubles at the bottom, so group them together. And put them onto the glue dots, like that. So they're stuck onto the glue dots like that. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. And then we need our ribbon stuck down that way. So to stick the ribbon on, I'm going to use some double-sided tape because I find that that is the best thing for sticking your ribbon down and making sure it stays down. So I've cut a length of that off and stick that down, press that on, good, and take the backing off. Take the backing off and then we want to obviously hide the twine. So make sure that that comes up and over the top of your baubles. And that's my ribbon bow. And then all that we need to do now is to stick our holly leaves on. And to do that, I am going to use two dimensionals. And I'm going to stick them, one here and one there. I seem to have too many. Let's just see what that looks like. Because we're going to tuck that under there. Right, and we're going to put one there too. One just there. So, peel the backings off. Give a bit of dimension to your leaves, so give them a bit of shimmy so that they stand up. And then pick up your baubly arrangement, tuck that behind the ribbon because we want the ribbon uppermost. Make sure that your twine doesn't show in any way and then stick your holly leaves down and that's your finished design so let's move all of this stuff off here and don't forget to pull up your decoration so that it forms a nice bit of dimension and that is our our, our uh, designs made so let's pull out just slightly and I think you'll agree that they are very beautiful uh, easy enough to make and um, yeah you can punch out to your heart's content as many baubles as you can. So thanks so much for watching today. Should you need any crafting supplies, stamping up supplies, please click on the down arrow description bar. Please don't forget to subscribe to my, to my channel and my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching again. Bye for now. Bye.